Hi everybody, in today's video I want to go over the Pygame project that I'm going to be working on for this video series. My goal is to show you how to create a tile based shooter game and my inspiration for this video series is from a flash game called Box Set 2 Play. Now Box Set 2 Play was a tile based shooter that had game modes for both survival and deathmatch. The game allowed for two players and you could either play against each other in the deathmatch mode or you could play together in survival mode. Now, the game featured multiple weapons in some different zombie variety and in survival mode there was a scorekeeping system to track your high score. In deathmatch, both players had 10 lives and whoever got to 10 kills first won. Now for my game, I decided to design two maps to show you what Pygame is capable of. Basically, I've created two maps in Tiled. The first one is based off the Maisie map, and the second one is based off the Big Boxy map. So I wasn't able to retrieve the assets that were used in the game Box Set 2 Play, so I decided to use an art pack created by a creator called Kenny. Uh, I'll put his link in the description because he makes some really nice things and as you can see here this is a very nice looking top down shooter game. So I decided to use his art pack for this tutorial because it's completely free, I just have to reference him. And you can see in this mazy map I have two breakable walls over here which if you break these then zombies can enter from here otherwise we have two default entrances on this side and on this side. And then in the boxy map we have a very simple interface where Pretty much there's two entrances, one over here and one over here, and then these crates will act as bombs. I don't really like the image that I've chosen to represent the bombs, so I'll probably go back and change these later, but for now I just have a few crate objects representing where the bombs would be. To wrap this video off, I just want to mention that I'll be pushing all the code that I write in this series and all the maps that I just showed you to a GitHub repository. So you can check there if you need to take a look at it or if you want to download it and use it for your own project. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment and if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe.